Hi guys and welcome to Zwift Academy week one. In my last video I did the ramp test in preparation for the Zwift Academy 2020. In this video I'm going to be completing the week one workout and also the week one group ride. I'm going to upload this on Sunday so there's still time to do the week one workouts and group rides if you haven't done them already. I'm planning to do this every week and upload every Sunday so please press subscribe so you don't miss out. So I'm going to start with the group workout. Then I'll give a bit of an overview of today's plan, the software that comes free with Zwift Academy. Then we'll do the group ride, which is quite an easy one this week. And finally, I'll show you the sort of graphics that um, Zwift are offering on their webpage that show you your progress throughout the academy. Okay, so let's crack on with the workout now. Okay, so this is the first workout. The workouts in Zwift Academy are done as group workouts rather than individual workouts, but you can still use erg mode. So it doesn't change things really, apart from the fact that people are around you. So this workout as well has an eight minute free ride towards the end. So it's quite good being in a group because it does push you a little bit harder than you might go on your own. Because you still see a position on that board on the right hand side, which does motivate you slightly. So this workout's called aerobic power. So to read a bit of the blurb on the Swift website, it says training begins by building your endurance, an essential skill for every level of rider from the recreational to the elite pro. So it, it says we're going to plan on hard efforts for durations lasting five to eight minutes. So these are considered long intervals. So pacing is crit critical to complete it to the best of your ability. Longer intervals help develop your threshold power. We want to push your FTP to its limit today bringing you to a level just above your threshold effort and ask to ride at this power for a total of 18 minutes. So yeah, 18 minutes of riding above FTP. So yeah, it should be, should be quite a challenging workout. So let's um, just watch through the workout now and as we go through it, I will just talk about each section and how it went. Okay, so the workout starts with a nine minute warm up. So this starts pretty low, like 130 watts or something, I think it started at. And then it just slowly goes up like any other Zwift warm up, getting to 210 watts. Then you're into three minutes at 145 watts at 90 RPM. Um, and from now on, apart from when you're in the free ride at the end, you've given a target RPM to aim for, which is quite nice. It structures the train a little bit further. So following these three minutes, you're into two sets of uh, three minutes of 225 watts followed by, sorry, two minutes of 225 watts followed by three minutes of 145 watts. These are really easy, really manageable, um, pretty, pretty easy cadences, um, 85 RPM at the lower watts and at the higher watts, um, just a little bit more than that, I think it was 90. Then you're straight into a two minute 275 watt at 90 RPM. This feels quite challenging, but it's not very long, so it's not too bad. And then a 30 second 345 watt uh, effort, which, yeah, again, it's quite a lot of watts, but it's quite easy to do. Um, and the higher cadence helps the transfer from the, uh, the 275 watt um, segment. So yeah, then there's a three minute rest of 170 watts, and then you repeat that again with another three minute rest of 170 watts. Then you're into what I think was the most challenging part, which was two five minute 270 watt efforts with just two minute of rest in between each effort. So yeah, you can see on my face over these efforts that it just gets uh, harder towards the end, so at the end of the first one. Um, yeah, pretty hard. I'm having to uh, start using the towel a little bit more. And then the second one, definitely, you can tell by the look of my face, it is harder. Um, and it shouldn't be, because it's, it's only just over my apparent FTP. Um, but hey, it felt hard, so yeah. Anyway, I managed to complete the efforts. And that's going into the final rest period. Then there's an eight minute free ride, which is try and sustain the best average power you can for the eight minutes, sort of all you can possibly do here averaging over eight minutes so to do this I just picked a big gear um, and then just stuck to a cadence well actually not that big a gear um, I just picked a, a gear that I knew I could keep about 100 rpm at and just aimed to keep the rpm at 100 for this entire effort and luckily I managed to do that to the end although you can see by the look of my face that it was a proper struggle 
at the end I wanted to go for a, a bit more power but I didn't have much in me I think I did it with just a few seconds to go so yeah overall I'd say that, that workout was pretty pretty difficult pretty challenging but a lot of fun and the um, each effort being quite short makes it interesting keeps you keeps you interested in the workout so yeah, that's the workout. So I did read online that after the workout, you get rewarded with a new Canyon bike frame. So I go into the menu as well after the workout, just to have a look at this and uh, it's a lie. I didn't get the Canyon bike frame. So as I talked about in the last video and also in the introduction today, you get a subscription to today's plan for free for the duration of Zwift Academy. So I thought what we'd do is just have a quick look at this today. I might not do this every time because I don't know if it's something that's going to benefit me so much, but it's interesting just to see what it is. So let's start with the calendar. You can see on the calendar what you've been doing. So you can also plan in workouts that you're going to do in the future as well if you want. And I think if you've got a coach, you can give them access so they can put in your, your plan for the next week, month, whatever. So you can see that since getting today's plan, I did the ramp test. Then I just did a random workout yesterday, something for, for something to do. And then this is the workout that we've done today. So if we click on that, you basically just see a lot more data than Strava will give you. Yeah, and it's just in an easier to view format. It's easier to like hover over uh, particular stats and, and see how you're doing. You can click analysis, get a detailed analysis of the workout. You can see your power and your heart rate amongst loads of other stuff, how you did in each interval. Um, so you can see eight minute interval, max heart rate, uh, 192 average, 185, max watts, 610 average, 325. But the interesting thing really for most of us will be the dashboard feature. This allows you to compare yourself to other people on Zwift. So what we're looking at here is your best um, watts for each sort of time period. So you've got your best four second power, five second power, 10 second, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is the same graph, but in watts per kilogram. Um, so yeah, I guess your 20 minute should be about your FTP. Um, so as well as being able to compare to other people, you also get this ability graph. So I'm not quite sure how, um, how accurate this is. I guess it really depends um, how much data you've put into it. At the moment, it hasn't got much data about me, so it's not probably gonna be very accurate. But yeah, it's um, showing low ability for stuff like peak power and sprints, but higher ability for sustained aerobic power. But then I have done an aerobic workout today. So yeah, it's kind of given. So yeah, that's today's plan. Um, I think that I've probably not told you that much information. So yeah, go and check it out yourself if you want to know more. And um, post in the comments below if there's anything I've missed that it does that's amazing. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to go over to the group ride now. So now onto the group ride. The first group ride takes part in France on the RGV circuit. So the aim of these group rides is just to have a social spin. It even says in the blurb on the, the Zwift app, during these festive fun rides we come together as one and ride at a nice and mellow pace. Forget FTP, we'll wear the same jersey, ride the same route because we're all on the same team. Find a good cadence, make some new friends and enjoy the ride. These are great for a recovery ride or general fitness. Finish the route and make it count. So there are two options for the group rides. There's an A group riding at between 2.2 and 2.7 watts per kilogram and a B group riding between 1.7 and 2.2 watts per kilogram. So I went for the A group, which puts me um, at somewhere between 170 and 210 watts. So I did the group ride. Um, I started somewhere in the middle, but I was quite far back from the, uh, the leader. So I actually caught him up early on, so I was a little bit overpower maybe, and then from then on tried to stick to around the 200 watt mark and just tried to stick close to the leader. There's not much more to say here really. The ride did get my heartbeat up and it was a it was a good workout to be honest with you, but it was a lot easier than the rides I've been doing the past few days, so it acted more as a recovery ride. And you can even see that I don't look as worn out as I usually do in these videos. So I'll put some clips over the top of this voiceover I don't actually have a recording of the end of the ride, but nothing special happens. It, it just ends like any other group ride does on Zwift. So the final thing I want to show you is the Zwift Academy Road website. So you go to the Zwift Academy that you've signed up for, which in my case is the um, Academy Road Men's. Uh, so you get your dashboard and you can see which workouts you've completed, your current FTP and which group rides you completed and what you've unlocked. So I've not unlocked anything yet, I presume I'm going to unlock something maybe after the second workout 
you can then browse this and you can see more details about all the different workouts so you can click on one get an overview of it get a little video about it and then you can see when they are available to book onto so then if i just go back um, same thing for the group rides uh, the segment group rides so they're optional but you've got to do them if you're going for the contract um, i'm not going for the contract obviously but i'm going to do them just because it's going to be nice to complete the set and um, the two races and then just yeah more information but yeah it's it's quite nice to have this little progress uh, card here get them all ticked off uh, and completed so that's week one of swift academy completed the workout was really challenging but the group ride provided much needed recovery the next day if you've got any questions or comments in general please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe for more cycling and swift content okay thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one